just saw this post and it actually reminds me of why context is actually very very important when it comes to working with artificial intelligence or giving a model a prompt and that's why tools like Cursor is really really winning right now because they are using AI agent and you can actually give the context for example I now use Cursor myself and whenever I want to do something I can assign component that I want to work with for example let's say I'm working with react uh, JavaScript or react TypeScript I can actually assign a particular component that I'm working with to the agent and say I want this change is to happen here and this is what i want to do i can define what i want to do it actually looks into my my component and it makes the changes for me without actually losing the context another thing that it does very very well is it actually keeps track of the changes that is being made which means that i can actually revert that changes at any particular point in time and it also keeps track of when something actually goes wrong or when the code that it gives me is not working as expected and it just keeps retreating and adjusting it until that it actually works except if i give it another prompt and the context never gets lost which is very very interesting which is something that I still think uh, tools like ChatGPT on the web doesn't really have or it actually lacks because for example you might want to do something and then you you give it another prompt then it's, it has already lost the context of what we are trying to do before and you know it just keeps giving you the wrong answer and then you keep saying like this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong for the 15th time and you don't get the answer I mean that's my experience so far with working with these models and these different AI agents so let me know what your experience has been like uh, can you relate to this particular screenshot that I've posted on the screen or do you have a different experience. I hope you've learned something in today and see you on the next one.